Good morning and welcome back to another video and today we are going to be going over Widow Bloom. Now just stick around and enjoy the video. Okay, so for today we have been farming up Widow Bloom, which is located within Revendreth. So, therefore, what are we actually looking for? Well, it's a herb farm, so you're going to need to be a herbalist. And overall, this is a particularly nice farm in order to do. There is a couple of areas where you will get a little bit stuck, but here's the route on the screen that I constructed myself. And it's relatively easy in order to do, because it takes about five minutes to do one lap. So overall, you're gonna be doing quite a few of these in the hour, but it works out quite well in the long run. Now, overall, what does this actually mean? So, what I've done is I've constructed the route in a massive cluster of the area, excluding some of the off-hand ones that are on the actual area of the map, because we want to get the most for our time invested. And for me, it's netted in around about 53,375 gold for an hour's worth of farming. Overall, that is pretty damn awesome and I'm very happy with that. So, what is actually going about? Well, Widow Bloom, we actually managed to get a load of that, 167, which currently equals in around about 26,000 gold. Um, the next one is Death Blossom, which is at 185 for 14,000. 547 gold as well as nightshade 32 for 11,902 by the way this is absolutely amazing i love this farm because you get a load of nightshade just dotted around the area and like it's just ah it's just an easy farm for you to actually construct now if you want to actually see the valuation of that farm on your server then use the worth it import which I have provided in the description down below along with the actual importable route if you have the add-on roots it roots import slash export this actual route is really handy and we're actually going to do a run of this right now so, so what we're actually going to be doing is we're going to go over to the Wayne crypt hill and basically just follow the route on the screen and I Primarily, this is very easy in order to do. I don't really have that much of an issue when it comes to actually farming these up. And quite frankly, it's pretty damn simple. There's only a few things you need to worry about, and that is these mobs that are just dotted around the area. Some of them hit quite hard if you're under geared. Obviously, I've spent my entire time farming, so yeah. <laughs> but if you do have the Potion of the Dark Moon, you shouldn't have that much of a problem. Or if you're a druid, you can always use Shadow Meld to actually get out of combat. I keep dotting in and out of my cat form in order to do this because I found that to be the easiest way in order to actually do the actual farm. But overall, I don't really have that much of an issue with it in the grand scheme of things. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna jump up here, quickly grab that, run, because these guys hit even harder than the beasts. Don't worry about my health, it's totally fine. Uh, I haven't actually died on this actual farm yet. But um, yeah, you would want to actually try and get yourself decently geared when actually doing this. But to be quite frank, this is really easy to actually farm up. And overall, I've found it to be a very reliable farm. It's, yeah, all of the nodes respawn by the time you actually do your route. So that's handy and can't complain there. The other things of note that you may want to consider is, is maybe keep a couple of health pots that may help out a little bit. But overall, if you're a druid, you can just self heal and that'll be okay. So in conjunction with that, this route is basically just follow the route, try not to die by any of the mobs. Um, some of them will attack you, some of them will not, even though they say they are uh, red for attack. Um, loads of these bats in this area will try and attack you maybe um, some of them actually don't this is what I find really really weird with this uh, farm so like, some of the mobs will just are like in like a state where they won't even attack so kind of handy but you can't judge it so be prepared that you will get attacked by everything is basically the way I think of it but other than that this farm is relatively simple to do it's just running around the area 
and picking up all the herbs. Overall, there is another thing that I would like to cover, and that is the Worth It Recorder. Now, currently the Worth It Recorder is a little bit broken. Um, there is a fix to that, and that is when you go into configuration. So if you actually pull up Worth It right now, all you have to do is go to configuration and then just set your recorder quality, so your recorder quality to common, and you shouldn't have a problem by gathering up all of that stuff right there. If it doesn't, however, pick up any of the items for that, then just change it to poor and it will calculate all of them. Um, when you actually do recording your own farms. Uh, there seems to be a little bit of an issue with that, but just to be clear, that will get resolved anytime soon. Um, me and Callan are basically just trying to build up Worth It, the new build for Shadowlands, so getting all the data for all of the farms and all that stuff. And it's just taking a little bit of time because quite frankly, it runs off of averages, so you need to uh, get a lot of data for that uh, farming. And obviously we, and obviously, work, doing, working full time, it's, it's a bit of a stretch to try and gather all that data all in one. But other than that, not too hard to actually do in, in the grand scheme of things. So, there is a little area right here. This is, and this is where all the gargoyles are. Now, I will actually use my invisibility and then use Tiger's Dash and then just jump and then run round and that's so they don't attack me because they do a lot of annoying stuff and it's very, very irritating. But once you're actually through there, you should be okay. So this last part is just to go back to the beginning again where we actually started and we're just making our way up to that. And to be honest, it's really, really simple to actually farm up. I can't actually stress that enough. Um, the only thing is the hard hitting mobs. If you do have the if you are a druid or you have a sky golem, you shouldn't have a problem. To make doubly sure, then use the dark moon fire water. That is what I've been actually using to gather my herbs really, really quickly. And that is so I can just grab them quickly before the mobs get to me and attack me to actually interrupt it and then I'll have to fight them. So I found that to be a great way in order to negate that. So overall, this is the Widow Boom farm. I thoroughly enjoy it. The roots import and the worth it import are in the description. Uh, but other than that, guys, have a lovely rest of the day and I shall see you in the next video, which will be tomorrow. If you want to support the channel and help make the channel even better, then why not check out the Patreon? Members get additional info, gold making resources and Patreon specific content. The link is located in the description down below. Thank you and have an awesome day.